Good afternoon to you. You're watching this section of a live video that we're going to be recording um, a little bit later on. And we're talking about why other people succeed and, um, you know, why other people fail. As we speak right now, there's a Tesla Roadster that is floating through space, an indication of a man that took his dream and executed upon it. So if you're watching this part, you're watching a replay. So type in the number two before we segue into the live um, section of the show. I see Eliza Priddle has just tuned in and Pamela and Anderson, how are you going? I'm still buzzing from the show earlier on. And look, Moroni, how's it going, brother? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, Eliza, this is the, the live beat. I only say that part, um, you know, so that uh, when people are watching, you know, in post-production, um, it makes sense for them. Great stuff. How are you doing, my man? And Pamela, we meet again. Great stuff. All right. So generally today, I'm a little bit excited. History has been made today. Um, Elon Musk and SpaceX have made history by successfully launching the Falcon Heavy uh, into orbit. How, how many people watched that? I woke up early and I watched it live. And I'm going to be telling you how how that is of relevance and significance to our day-to-day -day business endeavors and everything else that we we do so that we have businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. For those that are watching for the first time, my name is Prosper Tarovinga, and um, I viscerally believe that if you're running an online business, you should be getting a bit of profit from it and you should actually be enjoying working in it. I lead a team um, you know, of digital experts here at Live Long Digital where we help small businesses like yours to start, scale and grow using digital marketing strategies. So today we're talking about um, you know, Elon Musk and how um, his SpaceX adventures can actually help you or motivate you to be to and have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. All right. So some people might say, oh, I don't care anything about, um, you know, um, you know what happened today. And some people might say, I, you know, it, it's, 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 it's not anything to do with my um, work or how I run business. But if you really look at what happened today, first of all, history has been written. OK, this is the first, um, you know, successful commercial, um, you know, uh, flight that has been that has gone off to space. And it is actually getting him closer to his goal of bringing a manned mission to Mars in 2024, right? So some people might not understand or, or see the intensity of what just happened today. Today was just a test. Um, you know, for what he, uh, what Elon Musk is trying to prove to humanity. He has let go of that, um, you know, um, um, you know, Falcon Heavy. And now it is now, you know, um, orbiting around space. Um, at, he has marketed Tesla in a way that no company, no car company has ever marketed a business before. And so I took a lot of lessons from that. First of all, I think we... We're, we're being too fixated on looking for a niche. I think we're being too fixated of looking for a product that we need to sell out there. I think we're being too fixated on, on what is um, happening around us and not looking and thinking outside the box as entrepreneurs. Because first of all, if you look at Elon Musk himself, what niche would you think he's, um, he represents? Can you just type in the comments there if you think he represents any sort of niche that you can coin and say or touch or put a thumb on and say, this is what I think Elon Musk represents, okay? And um, I feel like right now in this day and age where we have customers that have so much information and so much choice, I think if you really want to be successful, you have to have a world view. All right. I'm going to explain this as we go along um, in as much as if if your business helps people get married, um, your worldview should be open enough to accept lesbians to also get married within your platform or within your business. All right. So it's it's different things like that, that 
are happening around us, but we're not paying particular attention to the way things are changing and the events that are happening and how they would actually help us be doing have a business um, that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, I see Raz George has just tuned in. Thank you so much, my man, for tuning in. You see, as of this afternoon, a cherry red uh, Tesla Roadster that has a dummy aptly named the Starman is on its way to Mars. All of those things are marketing. All of those things are branding. All of those things are putting a mark and 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 really, I I, I don't know. It's I'm still I'm still really all over. Um, you know, I'm still really really excited about what just happened because history has been written. And we are now reading about it and uh, we are amongst it. And now going back to what my show is all about, how come some people can achieve so much yet other people don't even scratch the surface in looking after their family or even turning around what their business is supposed to be? How come some people have got so much talent, so much energy, so much charisma, so much ideas pertaining to how to market their business and how they can make it so different and remarkable and yet other people cannot even string together a status on Facebook to, 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 to save their life. So it's things like that that I see, you know what I mean? Obviously, Elon Musk is an, is an extreme. Gary Vaynerchuk is an extreme. But what happens to Sally or Rob or Nancy who is here and, and is trying to build a business from the, the from their bare back. What is stopping them from achieving? Do you know what I mean? And then it, it, it goes down to maybe a mindset, maybe limiting beliefs, maybe because we've got all these opportunities and we've got all these um, capabilities. And like what um, Eliza says, Eliza, sorry. And how are you doing? It proves that anything can happen. Like right now, literally sending a car into orbit, you know, it's, it's just telling us, it's just telling the whole world that anything is virtually possible if you put your mind and soul to it. Because if you look at it about four years ago, there's a video that was circulating around Elon Musk, say, when they were asking him, you've had so many failures, why don't you just quit? And he's like, I would never quit because... I would only quit up until I'm incapacitated. Would you ever go for your dreams and goals in as much as it leaves you dead? Can you type in the comments there? Um, what, what, what is the one thing that would actually make you quit um, you know, your goals? What, what is the one thing that would um, let you stop pursuing whatever it is that you're pursuing right now? Maybe it, it would give us an understanding or an indication of, you know, what it is that we, we are going through because he did mention almost four years ago that he would never quit and today he did it and in front of everybody else that ever doubted him all those other people that thought he was being insane and um he has now won an award that only uh, neil armstrong won in the time that he went out to space and he's never even left you know earth so what else what else are we stopping ourselves you know, as business people or as individuals, um, you know, to, to be, do and have whatever existence or whatever um, stuff that is possible that, you know, our mind can actually, um, you know, bring together. So I, I don't know, man, it's just it was so exciting to watch, um, you know, um, and I just thought to myself, it's, it's probably we have limiting beliefs. We're probably not surrounding ourselves with, with people that are equally as excited about what it is that we're producing. And um, as, as, as you notice, the people that were presenting, um, you know, the live stream from SpaceX, they were so excited about what was going on. And the, and the guy, the older guy who was just counting down the, the rocket as it left, it was just so magical and it was musical to listen to. It's people that are going to work loving what they are doing every single day, you know? And I re realized that you can't do great things um, although, you know, you know, he, he went through all those hard times, um, you know, during the times when um, when they were testing the, the Falcon, uh, first Falcon fell into the lake or into the ocean and it didn't, you know, it didn't launch properly. And um, 
you you can't go and, and and achieve greatness without any setbacks so my big question now really is what is the one thing that that can actually stop you from achieving your goals you know i mean you can crush and burn so many times like what elon musk does but you should never give up on your dreams and today was proof positive and testimony to show that first of all you don't need a niche to exist you you just really need you know a, 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 a need for whatever you have in life to actually exist and for Elon Musk this time around is to have people living in Mars by 2024 i mean those goals are so big they scare small minds you know it's something that has never been done before and it's something that our kids are going to be reading about in history and and they'll know about this guy called Elon Musk that did remarkable things so are you doing things in your business right now that people would talk about and that would transcend your um you know your legacy and and people would have things to remark on when you're no longer there to defend yourself so i don't know there's there's just so much happening and i'm so overwhelmed with emotion um and also the fact that elon musk is 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 a fellow sort of countryman he was born in south africa right and having him um you know come up and and show the world that anything is possible just you 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 have no idea what inspiration that gives to somebody like me who you know started off with pretty much nothing and maybe seeing things like that happening every single day would also be inspired to be do and have a business that's possible that that's profitable and enjoyable you know and i have learned a few lessons from just watching elon musk with his three companies and now the hyperloop and i've noticed that first of all you don't need a niche um second of all you might need capital but the capital really is secondary to if you've got a dream and a goal and you really want to pursue it you go ahead and do it because highly successful leaders understand that success in any form is not an event he has done this over and over and over and over and we surprise ourselves when we do not achieve our dreams or our goals just because something did not work today do you know what i mean and tommy says you're such an inspiration oh thank you so much hope you're having a fantastic day and yeah you can see <laughs> it's, it's, it's work that needs to be done here you know if you treat success or the achievement of your goals as a process i promise you it will be an endeavor that will be enjoyable for you to 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 accomplish you know and i feel like a lot of successful leaders they understand that success is something that is cultivated over time like if you look at the time when Elon Musk started um with PayPal i think that was around um does anyone know that Elon Musk is the one that actually introduced PayPal if you knew that can you type in the number 1 if you knew that Elon Musk um is the one that created PayPal can you type in the number 1 i think this is something that a lot of people had no clue um you know was um was available or was was that i mean people only know him for tesla motors and spacex and i think that others uh you know uh solar business but he made his first fortune uh by being the co-founder of paypal and then he sold uh PayPal and then that's when he now went on to his adventures and now he's what they now classify as a trillionaire you know and very few people can actually get that title of being a trillionaire somebody who gets um it's it's like a new class of high tech entrepreneurs that are looking to use their wealth um to actually make science fiction into modern reality and today the 6th of february or 7th in australia we witnessed um you know elon musk you know launching um you know one of his um you know falcon heavy spacecrafts into orbit a dream come true do you know what i mean for, you can tell i'm really really excited about this like for some people it might just sound like i'm just a high sounding nothing and it's not really relevant but if you've got dreams and your goals um 
are, are real in front of you. They've got, they're specific, they're manageable, they're timely. And if you've got the wherewithal to actually move them and make a difference, oh my God, we will be celebrating you in no time. You know, in no time. And I feel like once you start treating success as a daily grind, as a daily commitment, you know, it, it now functions within your own purpose and you too can be, do and have a happier existence. Now, try and look at what you're actually trying to achieve, who you're trying to become and just start working towards that. You know what I mean? Anything actually is possible. There's a Tesla that's orbiting in, 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 in space right now, all because some kid had a dream and he made it happen today. What is stopping you? You know, for you to stand out as a leader or as a business owner or somebody in your own right, you really now have to start creating maybe it's habits that are actually going to back up your success because we humans are creatures of habit, you know? And once you, you, you have these habits and they become part of your daily routine, you start setting yourself up and you start achieving things that no human being thinks is actually possible. Like today, today I'm, I'm like, I'm like a nerd. I'm like a groupie right now. So excited for Elon Musk. And I, I cannot even start to imagine what he must be going through that his dreams have actually come through in, in, in front of the whole world, you know? And I'm not saying you should be like Elon Musk. I'm just saying, what is it to you that actually drives you, wakes you up, that you, you are going to do no matter what, and then you're going to uh, celebrate with people just because, you know, you've achieved that goal? What is it that will actually be true one day just because somebody told you you couldn't do it and then you went on and you did it? You know what I mean? But you got to cultivate the habits to continuously do that. And I've been following Elon for a while. I mean, not that I want to be like him, but he really, really inspires. One of the things that he does is he reads religiously. He reads every single day. So now I want to ask you, if you say you want to achieve your goals, your dreams or whatever you, you, you aspire to become, what was the last book you read? Can you type it in the comments there? Can you type in the comments the last book that you read? You know, just so that we see if you are in line to actually achieve these goals or are you just playing with yourself right now? You know, because successful leaders, they know and then they trust that you constantly have to be learning new things because we're here to live, we're here to learn, we're here to contribute. You know, and once you've lived when and, and you've learned, you sometimes have to learn from other people's mistakes. And most of those mistakes are found within the pages of books. And some books take us on a transformational journey so much that you won't even realize who you are by the time you finish reading that book. I try and read at least an hour a single day. You know what I mean? The reason I do that is because reading makes you smarter. It, it improves your mental clarity. It actually reduces stress. It increases your, your knowledge base. It, it, it grows your vocabulary. You can tell English is not my first language, but I speak like I know some. Do you know what I mean? It improves your memory. Like right now, I can just go in and talk about any subject. You know why? Because I've touched on it in a book that I read. It activates your reasoning skills. You no longer argue with people that don't have facts. You know what I mean? Because where, where are the stats coming from? Check the statistics. And it actually, when you're reading it, it, it improves your ability to focus and concentrate. And that's the reason why you then go in and smash your goals, just like what Elon Musk did today. You know? And uh, Scott Woodrow says, I just downloaded Goal Keeping a few minutes ago. Absolutely. But which one was the last book you read? You know, I mean, going to is another story, but which one was the last book you read? You know, and and and, and I've also noticed, I mean, since English is not my first language, my writing skills are improving and it's bringing me, you know, into a peaceful place because I can tell whether something is going to go left or right just because somebody has had that experience without me having gone through it. And it's a great source of free entertainment. 
You know? Oh, yes, James Windsor, Barefoot Investor. <laughs> I love that book. I love that book. There you go. It's, yeah, you know, it's one of those things that once you start putting yourself in, um, once you start putting yourself in, you know, holding yourself accountable to finish books, to read them, your goals will come to in fruition, you know? And uh, James, are you uh, doing the, the, the dinners? <laughs> what does he call them? You know, going out for dinner and looking at your money, really. So Elon Musk says reading is an activity that actually relaxes him. Because can you imagine having to be a CEO of three different companies? You know, and all these three different companies are in the Fortune 500. They are all demanding in, 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 in their own respect. And it stimulates him to, to want things that other people would never think possible. You know, it, 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 it relaxes him and stimulates him at the same time. You get things to talk about. Guess what? Once you start reading books, you, 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 you get stories to talk about. You connect with people on a different level. And you, you never run out of things to say. So if you really want to be a great leader and achieve your dreams like what Elon Musk did today, you should be always willing to, you know, walk through the door of learning. One of my values is learning, like lifelong learning. You, you should never put a stop to you learning because I understand, yes, after high school, you don't want to touch a book or anything else. But the learning you gain from reading greatly increases your potential to actually succeed. How are you going to know how to deal with, with people within your business? How are you going to know what's the next step to take on, you know, in order for you to get your goals or to reach your, your, your goals? You know? And one other thing is that a lot of people don't really understand about growing or becoming a remarkable entrepreneur is we set our targets too low and we achieve them. We set our goals too low and we achieve them. Now, look at what Elon Musk did today. He went in and, and, and went out and, and made an audacious goal and said, you know what? We're going to launch today. Come hell, come high water. And he did it. See, things like that are things that are talked about. Everybody can create a Facebook video, but who is doing 30 minute videos every single day at 2 p.m. AEST? Focus on doing things that are challenging and in that way it focuses you into doing more and more and more because once you are uh, you, once you you achieve that sort of challenge your mental um, you know because we always have this uh, mindset or limiting beliefs that tells us oh that can be done or oh, we can't achieve this or oh, you are not the right person for this that self-talk you can always thwart it Every time you focus on a challenging task, you know, exceptional leaders and exceptional entrepreneurs, they live and thrive in the arena of challenge. The more you challenge yourself to succeed, the greater your confidence levels, the greater your self-esteem and the ability to do it again and again and again and again. Like right now, what, you know, the, the sky is not the limit anymore. Look at where that Tesla is right now. You know, so challenge just doesn't help you grow your, 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 your skills in, in, in knowledge. It helps you grow your belief in yourself. And once you can stand up inside of yourself, knowing that nothing can stop you, can you imagine what else you can achieve? You know, so once you're clear on the difference between either it's a challenge that would actually, you know, flex your, your, your brain muscles and also increase on your skill set or... You know, once you, you, you are knowledgeable by reading, you would know whether something you're doing is a risk or it's something that would actually, you know, um, you know, propel you and help you achieve your goals. Because, like I say, people are aiming slow and achieving those goals and then they're not motivated to go on and do extra things that would then move them to continuously change. Like right now, look at, look at how things are changing in front of your eyes. Facebook is morphing into this whole different platform every single day. Uh, Snapchat no longer represents the age group it used to represent before. You know why? Things are changing in front of you, but you're staying stagnant because you're not challenging yourself enough. 
So to become a great leader or a great, um, you know, entrepreneur, you really have to start putting, you know, a habit within yourself to focus on high level tasks, you know, things that are so big that they move you. They wake you up every single day and they get you to focus on why you started your business in the first place. You know, I'm guilty of that. Like, you know, just, you know, um, one second. I'm guilty of that. In, in, in as much as I just rely on things that are, you know, are known or staying in my comfort zone, you know? And once you're there, like I talked earlier on about, you know, how people have all this inner dialogue and negative self-talk and, and an inner voice. It's, it's something you really have to work on, you know? There's always that voice inside of you that tells you, oh, you can't do this. Oh, this is meant for this kind of people. You know what I mean? And um, it, it, it goes by so many different names. Some people might call it tall poppy syndrome or it might be your own negative self-talk. But whatever you choose to call it, you know, it can be so destructive if you're not careful of what exactly is actually happening and who is, is making the decisions in your head. So whether you've got small goals, big goals, lifelong goals, or whatever it is, you really have to know who is making the decisions. Is it you? Is it your self-talk? Or is it other people outside of you? Because if you ever hope to accomplish your dreams and your goals, you need to learn to silence that inner voice and get to the point where you no longer have anything that holds you back. Ladies and gentlemen, today is historical. We've got a Tesla that is orbiting around space right now just because some kid had a dream. If that doesn't move you, I don't know who you are, my friend. Do you know what I mean? Some kid had a dream and he did it d despite all the odds, despite everything else. Because he tamed his inner voice. Because that inner voice would have been like, ah, you can't do this. Come on, to, you know, Elon, you're, you're just a small boy. But he went above that. He went above the economy. He went above the president. He went above every human being possible. You know? So sometimes you need to really figure out who is making the decisions. And become friends with your inner self. Become friends with the internal cockpit that's actually making those decisions. And once you've got that in place... Boost your confidence and start going towards your dreams. Take action. You know? Because the more action you take, the more you start knowing that it actually works. Because action leads to confidence. And then we take more action and then we become larger than life and achieve our goals. I'm not saying throw out um, you know, your car into space or anything like that. But by taking action... Even a small, insignificant thing like doing the laundry, making that cold call, um, or, you know, just hugging your spouse. The thing that you've been, you know, putting off or, uh, you know, d creating that relationship with that person that you thought you never would be able to have a relationship with. It generates that, that energy, that motivation for you to do more, do more. Because if you're not growing, you're dying. And as human beings, we are motivated by growth. We're motivated by momentum, movement, any one of those words. You know? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so pumped, you know? Like the possibilities are endless. And you can use this energy to take action to do something bigger and bigger and bigger. Unless you just want to be a nobody. Then don't watch this video. Because then it would annoy you. But until you progressively build up the confidence to actually, you know, start taking great strides within your work, your, your team, or your, your website, or whatever it is that you introduce yourself to, to people there, or whatever your chosen goal is. Once you start gaining that momentum, it's hard to stop. You know? Because now you've proved yourself that you're smart enough, you're strong enough, you're good enough. And you're powerful enough. You no longer listen to that nagging Sally that keeps telling you, hey, you can't do this or you cannot do that. It doesn't even matter what it is that you do. You know? 
It doesn't even matter what it is that you do. All you got to keep doing is keep moving. Because just like being on a bicycle, the more you move, the more you stay upright. If you stop moving, you're falling. Like what Scott says, action is the key word I've been saying to my partner in the last few days. And I, I, I've also been really trying to hum down on action. You know? By, by so doing, by those little actions, by those little activities, you prove to yourself that you're good enough. Because half the time, have you ever noticed, when you, when you make a mistake, you're like, oh, I'm so stupid, I'm so dumb. All that negative self-talk, the more you keep doing those things, it then, guess what happens? You are now making a self-fulfilled prophecy. It doesn't matter what you do. Just start proving yourself that you can do something and it gives you the confidence to actually go in and excel at more things that you never thought were possible. I really want you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable and I really want that you're successful and you enjoy doing what you're doing for the things that, for the people that you do it for. If you continue having that inner dialogue, it's just a very mysterious, powerful force. The one that actually affects the way you, you wake up in the morning because you reach out to, to, to switch off the alarm and then your little inner voice tells you, ah, you still have five more minutes. You'll be hopeless if you live under its rule forever. So no matter what strategy you're going to use, either it's taking action or reading or just going for it, the more you do, the more you keep, um, you know, Telling yourself, yes, it is good. Yes, it is working. You're silencing that negative talk for good. And guess what? You will rewrite the script of your life and you realize that your dreams can be achieved one step at a time. Help me salute Elon Musk for his accomplishment in launching um, Falcon Heavy into orbit and accomplishing his dream. You, sir, are a genius. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.